How were you thinking about that trip to LA to see Danny for the first time? All I can feel was my heart pumping like. I was specifically looking for a little person to do a video with. We ended up meeting and then we just kind of kept in touch on Facebook. What do you think is the most misunderstood thing about little people? Probably the penis size, right? This dick size doesn't change if you're a little person. It would be like as if they're a normal sized person. <laughs> he showed me that he can be really good at skating and like, he was doing tricks that I could never like imagine that I could do. He's helped me a lot with like learning how to skate. What's the time that Danny asked you to do something that was way beyond your comfort zone? Are you nervous? Oh, hell yeah. Why are you there so you nervous? Are. I don't know. Cause I'm oh, just relax, scared, man. Yeah. Relax. That'll be good. I can hear it in your voice. Yeah. You're it's shivering. Like, it's like Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, relax. Why do you got the mask, dude? I'm put it on if, yeah. if it helps. Put, <laughs> if it helps, put it on. I need man. to bite my eyes. Yeah, yeah. From the vodka. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Then, you know what's crazy is like I would rather you promote the weed than the alcohol. Uh, like, I think weed is way better than alcohol. In uh, my opinion, this is my opinion though. I don't think alcohol is good for anyone. How does it look? What are your thoughts on alcohol? I think it's whatever you want, man. I but, think so uh, too, to yeah. an to an extent. But I yeah. think weed is probably a healthier thing. Yeah. Wait. So Cameron, you came here like you grew up in New Zealand. Yeah. And then you came here when you were 18, 19 years 19, old? 19, yeah. Yeah. And then you, you don't have to keep that on. If you oh, okay, bad. <laughs> I didn't mind wearing it to promote what? it. What? No, don't. I was not saying it for. I don't need I it. know. You yeah. just had it on your lap, like you're holding it like an yeah. hand. Throw it over there. Yeah. I wanted to show it off. So me and Cameron met on. Uh, I posted something on Facebook. Probably like what year? 2016. 2016. Yeah. I was like, anyone know a little person? I'm trying to do a video. I was specifically looking for a little person to do a video with. And someone either commented or tagged something. And then we ended up meeting on Facebook. Yeah. And then we just kind of kept in touch. And then, I, I mean, 2016, I had no money, really. You know what I mean? I made like, what, $2,000 in 2015, the whole year. And then 2016, I think I made like $30,000 the whole year. So, like, I still had nothing. And then, I think you came in 2017, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I was starting to make money, you know? Did, did you come yeah. to the States to film with Danny or were you just visiting? Yeah, I, I just came like to hang out with Danny and like film and then really? like to hang out with him too. But well, I had money for flights then, you know? So then it was like... So you yeah. flew Cameron out. Yeah, flying him out yeah. was like nothing. But in 2016, it was like, dude, it was impossible. I had no, no money. I, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, yeah. the flights are expensive from New Zealand. Yeah, it's they're like nothing. a grand each way. I mean, they're not expensive now. Oh. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> no, they're, they're more expensive they were, than they used to be. They're, they used to be cheaper, but they were still expensive. They were like... Five hundred dollars back in twenty seventeen. I remember we met, dude. I was butt naked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's how we met. The yeah. first time we met, I was like butt naked. Came in the room, like, yo, what up? I what pulled up, up in the Uber. Kevin, <laughs> oh Kevin was waiting outside, and uh, Kevin was waiting for me. And I got out the Uber, and Kevin was like, "Yep, there he is." And then you flew halfway up. across the world to see Danny Duncan butt naked. And that was the first Kevin, time we met. Kevin yeah. carried the suitcase in the hotel, and then me and Kevin were just not a hotel, hotel apartment, apartment, sorry. Yeah. apartment. Yeah, that was a nice apartment too. No, um, it wasn't. And then <laughs> he was like, "Hell no!" <laughs> really, I loved it. But um, it was someone you flooded. No, no, this was right after that. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, and what then yeah, so I was hanging out with Kevin in the other bedroom, and then because you were showering, and then and then he came in <laughs> and he's like, "What's up, dude?" Or something <laughs> like that. He's like, "How you doing?" It was pretty funny. But anyway, so then you flew across the country, or yeah. you flew across the world. You came to LA. Yeah, and uh, then it was cool because I was only supposed to stay like. I was going to stay for like two weeks and then we got along and he was just like, oh, we'll change your flight and you can stay longer. And I ended up staying like six weeks instead of two, which was like really cool. Oh, wow. Like a really cool experience. And then we did that show, the first show in San Diego. That oh, was really yeah. cool. And I, I got the that. old man haircut. That was like, what, December something? Yeah, December... Twenty. Uh, December 9th. Be, yeah, December 9th. I don't know how I remember I remember it too, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. That show was crazy. And then we ended up doing a whole tour, which was cool. And then, yeah. What was that like for you touring? Oh, that was insane, dude. That was like, oh, I don't know how to describe it. It was such like a huge change, like, because I was still new to America. And I was like, I never in my life thought I would visit like any of the other places, like maybe one day New York or something. But I never thought I would visit because we, where did we go? We started, I flew to LA and then we, I got like to rest for like five days to get used to the time change. And then we, we started up, north. I know we started yeah, north. Yeah, we and drove then up came to down, Seattle, came all the way down. We went to LA, then we went to, Phoenix through Texas and then we went up North Carolina and New York and then we ended in Chicago and yeah. I remember we all flew home after that and it was so, so crazy when the tour bus the tour bus dropped us all off at the airport and we all I think most of us went to LA but there was a few of us like going to other spots but it was just crazy that everyone had slept like on the tour bus so we went to we went and ate food then we all slept and then and then we all just woke up everybody's already packed and then we just 
get off the airport and everyone went their separate ways like mostly la but that was like cool and then i just went home after that yeah i like traveling especially like traveling like by tour bus because it's like flying you gotta flying just makes me like ugh, like you know all like groggy and shit like, yeah. but when you're on a tour bus it's just like yeah. the yeah. best dude you get to sleep good and then you wake up and you're in a new city it's i love yeah. that so much bunks are like sick too it was so funny with the bunks yeah. like everybody liked them too like surprisingly everybody was scared and then i wasn't that scared but everybody else was kind of like scared of it and everybody loved it like how much time in between like you came to the states you met danny and then how much time passed before you guys went on tour um so we we met in november and then oh we hang out hung out in november december then i went home for a bit and then i came back uh april may for two months and then i went home and then i came back in july so it'd been maybe like six about six months yeah what did you see in cameron danny because that's a pretty quick turnaround be like hey <laughs> like, like come on tour with me uh Dude, I don't even remember back then, dude. I'll be honest. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I mean, the, the first post, I, I was just looking for a little person to film something with, which I don't even know what I was trying to film. And I know we yeah. never we never filmed whatever that idea was. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, I mean, Cameron's just super nice, so chill. It's fun to hang out with. He was skating a lot, too. So um, just a lot of similar interests, I think. And then, um, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think fucking way back then. I mean, I don't even know. What was going through your mind, Cameron? I mean, cause to, I mean to pay for the flight is one thing, but to get up and like travel all the way to LA when you haven't met the person like in person before you oh, see them like like how, how were you thinking about that trip to LA to see Danny for the first time it was cool I was it was like it was a cool experience because obviously like seeing the uh, videos and stuff like in Twin City which was really cool like and so like I knew it was gonna be fun it was fun we talked a lot too though yeah yeah, yeah. we had already talked for like like a year or so like yeah longer than oh, leading up to it <laughs> yeah because yeah. I had talked talking in 2016 or yeah. 2016 I think and then yeah so then when he finally came, it was just like, fuck yeah. And then, yeah. you know. Like me and all my friends in school watched as well. Like when, uh, like me and all my friends that like I went to school with, we all watched like Danny's videos, which was like cool. Because we watched through Chris Chan as well. Like we watched Chris Chan and then obviously we seen Danny and then we were watching Danny because he's funny. And I think a lot of kids out there that watch too, it's like they're probably, not everyone, but majority of the people out yeah. there, we all would like, me and him could easily hang out with them and get along because yeah. we all have probably similar yeah. interests. Yeah, we, yeah. we think the same shit's funny. It's just like, we're, we're no different than most I would say just fucking kids that do stupid, funny shit. You yeah, know? it's yeah. like the same thing, you know. Yeah. yeah. And at that time, Cameron, were you trying to become like a pro skateboarder, YouTuber? Like, what what were you trying to do at that age? I don't know. I honestly had no clue what I wanted to do. If I'm honest, I still have no clue what I wanted to do. Like, <laughs> honestly, he just want to smoke all day and no. chill. <laughs> you mean drink? It's coming back. Ah. You mean drink? Ah. <laughs> I drink. He did not drink. Anyway, um, there's no alcohol in this house. Just, <laughs> just change the topic. <laughs> it's funny because the majority of the people no, 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 watching. Stop, 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 no, 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 I'm not gonna say anything bad. Okay. I'm saying that it's funny the majority of the people watching though. They're all like fucking definitely like probably <laughs> fucking big potheads. <laughs> Have you ever been on the Silver Bullet? <laughs> no, <laughs> dude. I was watching that just before. I watched that like three times and it's fucking funny. No, I've never been on the Silver Bullet. I went to. A, a theme park in New Zealand for, in high Here school, and it was like I couldn't even do half the rides. It was so lame, dude. And they, but they they were so nice at the go karts. Like I probably shouldn't have been driving the go karts, but like I was like pretty far forward, and like if you get hit, I'm pushed back into the fucking seat and have no control of the vehicle. And then yeah, but I was fine. I didn't that didn't happen, so it doesn't matter. This is gonna fry, dude. <laughs> What's your favorite book? <laughs> Fuck, um, <laughs> uh, Harry Potter. I think I actually read the first one, no the way. second one, but I can't remember shit from it. But I, remember, I watched the Harry Potters. Do you remember when you realized you were a little person? At like uh, what age were you? Like, oh shit, I'm um, different than probably like eight. <laughs> you were like, you were like, oh. yeah, like seven or eight. Like, you, you vividly remember that yeah, day when. Uh, Everybody's getting taller, and then they have to make uh, adjustments <laughs> to the seats I'm sitting in the whole day. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Oh, not the but but then like obviously people like make yourself aware fucking every twelve <laughs> minutes, and you're just like fuck, mom. <laughs> yeah, it's like mom. <laughs> like I could walk to the fucking store just over there, and I'll fucking someone will do something. He said it's yesterday because like, it was like me and him walking around. And like, cause he was in the car with me and then Kiwan was in another car and he goes, dude, I wonder how people react when they see me and you and they're like, oh shit, look a little person. 
or a midget, whatever he says. And then, and then Kiwan walks into frame. Oh, another one. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely like that. There's like, oh, fuck, there's two of them. <laughs> I remember I said that when he was Snapchat, and I think you had to cut it out because you were scared. Or what is it? Uh, it was, we were in the airport and you were just filming. It, it, me and you had already like, it was already established that me and you were together in the Snapchat. And then, and then you pan over to Kiwan coming down the aisle of the airport. <laughs> and then you hear me in the background saying like two seconds later, oh, fuck, there's another one. <laughs> no, I posted that. Yeah. Oh yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit. I'm that shit. always saying the fucked up shit to those little people. Yeah, I try. I'm I, probably the worst. It's bad. And I'll ask him like, "Yo, is this good?" And he'll just say, "Yeah, yeah, it's fine." Every yeah. time. <laughs> you, it's like. So I Even gotta, Q, for, I remember Q on actually used to not really like the word midget a little bit in 2018. I don't know if he remembers, but. I just I remember. I don't think Kiwan remembers anything. <laughs> yeah. but I remember, He's more fried than you are right now. I think I told <laughs> you mean drunk. <laughs> anyway, I remember I told um oh, what was I telling Kiwan? I was asking about something about the word midget and he said he like didn't really like it. I was like, oh He always says like, midget. I was like, oh like I don't really care. I was like, I don't care if people say it like knowing that it's bad. Like then because I know they're joking, like but when it's like not joking, I think it like, depends oh. who it is though too. If like yeah. if some random person just comes up yelling it, it's way different yeah, than yeah. like if one of your if Harry says it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Especially <laughs> if you're in a bad mood and some random kid comes yelling it, it's not gonna be a joke anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah. I was gonna say Cameron um, gets mad, dude. Cameron Cameron's got an anger issue for for at real. What, at what? Just sometimes this dude, <laughs> oh, yeah. this dude loses his damn mind. Dude, remember? I I used to get kind of mad sometimes at shit. This motherfucker is way worse. <laughs> Tell than me, me a story. When, when Bro, all the time. I always gotta be on the flight. So? I always gotta be telling him like, "Yo, dude, re- hey buddy, relax. Hey buddy." Then he gets mad at me. No, no, I'm kidding. No, but I always gotta just try to try to remind him like. Yeah. Okay, in life, guys, people are idiots. You're never, yeah. you're never gonna escape it. I don't care who you hang out with, how rich you get, how poor you are. It does not matter. Your entire life, you're gonna deal with people that are actually just complete morons and idiots and stupid. So you can never escape that. So when you wonder, like, how is this guy so dumb? It's like you will deal with that the rest of your life. Just like it, you can never get away from it, no matter what job you work or anything. So but I think that's the- an important lesson. What's what's a moment? Because I agree with you. There is a book. billion of them. Give us one. But that's just a thing. Is like he just people just piss him off, and it's like, bro, you're never gonna not yeah. deal with that. It's you're yeah. gonna deal with that forever. It's just like your own family members, your friends, your random people that come up to you. It's just like you, you can't escape it. So I try to tell him that because then then if you know, you know, it's like you gotta just. I don't know how to. Uh, what's another way to explain? Like, dude, if you. I don't know. It's like if you hang out with someone who's a fucking just complete moron and then they do something that a moron would do. It's like you can't be mad at you can't be mad at the person for Yeah, they are who you expect it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you know so oh, it's yeah. like it's like when you if we're hanging out with a fucking Jewish godfather and like he's <laughs> annoying me, it's like well what the fuck do you expect? You know what I mean? So those things happen like he'll get like okay, here here's a good example. Yeah, yeah. Our last trip he was losing it cuz of Roscoe kept making fun of him. Bro, <laughs> Roscoe's on full blown drugs, <laughs> legit drugs. It's like, bro, you can't get so mad. It's like, I agree with you, dude. I'm on your side. Like, yeah, he may be being mean to you. Like, but bro, if I say something to him or anything, he's not doesn't even he doesn't even know where he's yeah. at, dude. He's so high. Bro, dude. you don't understand. It was like, like bro, I understand. No, I understand. But it's like, we what, what are we house? gonna do? What are we gonna do? He, he's full blown on drugs. Or, he, dude, he doesn't even know what's going on, dude. <laughs> He yeah. couldn't tell the difference between you and Kiwan if he was looking at both. <laughs> he would not know. He would not know what is happening. So it's like for us to be like mad at him for yeah, making. Just, jo- of course, oh. of course, I agree. He's definitely yeah. making too many jokes to you. Yeah. But like, what the fuck yeah, are we yeah, gonna? Yeah. He's on, dude. He's. I know. Yeah, I get bro, that. he's on so many. Like, I don't even know what he's on, dude. Pills or know, but, he's on something. I was just more jealous that everybody else is having a good time, and I'm just being grilled <laughs> for no reason. But that's what, I, that's what I mean, though. Is like, you, I know it's. I know yeah. it's easier said than done, but you gotta try. Like, you gotta try to like find humor in the fact that he I don't want to call him an idiot but like bro he's fully on drugs he's an <laughs> yeah, idiot yeah, he's yeah. an idiot at that time yeah no, it was like boom 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 I was like I was like I, I can understand it now but that, it, no, that, in the time it was like that bad. time I understand him being a little upset yeah yeah, yeah. it was I mean, there's many instances we what, don't need to get into that though let's let's say positive yeah, yeah yeah on the flip side I mean we asked <laughs> I asked Q on this question about like how he's used it to his advantage at any point then we got that silver bullet story is there any time that you're like, maybe this is an advantage or like a time where you're like, I could use this to being a little person. Oh, fuck. A um, fuck. I'm trying to think. I remember I was, what was I going to say? What fuck. has being a little person <laughs> yeah, ever know, had any I advantages? I can't remember what I was going to say. Um, 
I think, oh, during like middle school, there was like a running test and you get like a cool badge of like how well you do. <laughs> and I was like, bro, I'm going to get destroyed in this. Like, I'm not even going to get any of the badges. But the teacher was like really cool and, and shortened it for me because she was like, like, oh, it should be shorter for you. And I ended up getting like one of the best scores. <laughs> even though it was shortened. So it like kind of felt like I cheated. But at the same time, I don't know, like, because they were measuring it. Like, they, but they didn't shorten it by much. But still, it was like. It was a solid bit. Yeah. What about with skateboarding? Like, I know you do that a lot. Um, I mean, the running thing has got to be harder to run as a little person. Than yeah, yeah. Who's not a little person. Like, yeah. honestly. High school, we had to do a, a run in PE. And it was, like, to this beach near our school and back, which was probably uh, maybe four kilometers. So I would say that's about, like, two two point like eight miles or maybe three miles nearly like around that thing but we had to do that run within 45 minutes and i remember like the whole class was like way ahead of me and it was just me and this like big dude that were like way behind <laughs> yeah, and, then, Super and then we saw we saw like most of the class run back and we were so far behind i was like i mean that like, is like i don't think it's bad for them to have you do that but it, i mean it, it's got to be harder for a fucking little person to run than, yeah yeah than uh I have shorter legs. Yeah. yeah. So, so wild. So not even cool shorter, cat. though. It's like your shit's like... Yeah. Kind of... was I'd say bent a little or like yeah, bow-legged yeah. a little yeah. bit. Like, yeah. it's got to be a little more difficult. How much do you talk with Kiwan about this stuff? Like, how close are you guys? Oh, uh, I, I would say me and Kiwan have got, like, really close to, like, these past two years. Like, before that... I mean, I was so taught to him. Like, he, he was really, like, a good inspiration to yeah. me. Like, he, I think he was... To be honest, he was, like, the first little person friend I ever had. So, like... When I was growing up, I never, like, when I was like, younger, I met little people, but I was, like, five, so I didn't really have any, like, understanding or conversations, and then, for, but from then on, I never seen a little person in person for, like, since <laughs> yeah. I met Kiwan, I think. No, I, I mean, was about to say that. I was, like, I feel like in America, you're, like, dude, I haven't seen a little person in, like, <laughs> yeah. seen one in, like, in LA or something. He's, yeah. like, I haven't seen one my whole life. <laughs> like, I don't even, it may be in New Zealand, but I don't remember. Yeah. It's so funny. I remember I met Vinny first, and then I met Angel Cardenas, who's like a really good skater. He was like a huge inspiration, like growing up. That was a voice crack. Um, voice crack? Yeah. Uh, what was That's the pen say? talking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, the, um, what was I saying? Uh, Angel Cardenas, big inspiration. Yeah, and then he was. Anyway, those were the first two little people like I probably met, but Kiwan was the. After that, it was Kiwan was the first little piece, person I little piece and little person I seen like <laughs> back to back to back like regularly, where I got to know him like properly and became like a proper friend with him. But I still didn't really get to see him much. But these past like two years since I've been here longer, it's like I've got to meet him more, and it's like it's really cool to like get closer with him and talk to him and like. But, but I'm always like hugging him and dabbing him up and shit and saying. Stu- I love Kiwan. Dude, he's such I'm a always saying stupid guy. shit. Yeah, to him. I, lo- I love Kiwan's always in he's a good mood. Infectious person. It, it really yeah. helps. It helps me a lot. I don't really like being around negative people. Yeah. yeah One thing I would say though. I don't even want to be negative right now, but dude, one time he was getting pissed at Kiwan and they were arguing, but it's like kind of insane. I don't, I don't mean this. In a ne- I, don't, I, I don't mean this in a mean way towards little people, but bro, when you got two little person friends and they're like literally about to fight, it's, <laughs> I try to be like, I don't want to say Are sensitive. Are you separating them? No, I don't want to. Yeah, dude. I don't want to say like, I don't want to be like, I'm not trying to be like sensitive towards them, but it's like, cause it is, it does suck when people, when your friends uh, yeah, yeah. are, are. But, bro, it's kind of funny, a little bit. <laughs> like, bro, I'm pulling. Bro, one time, Kiwan was about to kill this motherfucker, dude. And, like, I'm, like, trying to, like, pull them off, bro. I'm like, Kiwan. <laughs> but it's, like, but it's like if, if you're looking at it from the outside in, it's funny as fuck. But if you're, like, in the... Mo- bro, I'm literally pulling Kiwan from getting to him, dude. It's it like, was over farting, dude. Dude. <laughs> it was like, what? <laughs> we were just farting. And it just, like, he, No, he, it. like... No, I think what happened was... I wish Kiwan was here, man. Yeah, Kiwan. He, like... No, I think he, like, farted... Kind of like, next uh, to him. dude. No, I, I did it first though, right? Yeah, you were fine. No, like I, right I, next to him. I farted like really loud and like and like Kiwan like laughed, but he was like, "Bro, come on, man!" Like he he thought it was funny. Yeah, he yeah. did another one like a little one, and Kiwan was like, "Bro, if you do that shit again, like he was then he was getting mad." Yeah. No, it was you that farted the second time. I swear. I don't remember. We'd have to Something let's, like let's call yeah. Kiwan. No, no. So well, whatever. Kiwan, someone farted. I think I farted once. Kiwan got mad. Don't do that shit again for real. But he like laughed a little bit. Then yeah. he did it after Kiwan already said, don't do it again. Like yeah, right on him, him like right on him. And he lost his mind, bro. <laughs> like a bomb went off and he, and he was trying to kill him, bro. I swear to God. It was like, dude, I never seen I it. I thought he like, was playing too at first. I was like, bro, he literally yeah. was like going full, like wrestler mode. Trying yeah, I'll to never kill fight on him again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He still farts on him. The old granny thing where he's like, even you said, uh, you're going to go into bed with him. He's like, play basketball. 
<laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, Kiwan can't hear shit, but sometimes it's funny. It kind of reminds me of Papa Jim a little bit. My hearing is a bit bad, too. I think it's a little personal thing. Yeah. I had, like, not surgery. I think some sort of, You, like, you and Kiwan should do that little TikTok trend where it's like, yeah, we're little people. Of course we oh, fuck yeah. doggy style standing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, how does it go? What's the trend? I, I, see, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that It'll just funny. be like that they things. just keep repeating. Yeah, yeah, we're little people. Of course our dicks are normal size. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, you guys should do one like that. <laughs> what was, I saw a camera on your Instagram. You had this post from a few years ago where, you know, you're wishing Danny happy birthday, but you're talking about how you would FaceTime you to check up on you. Oh, yeah. What was the story behind that? <laughs> Fuck! Uh, Hit the pen, man. Hit the pen. No, no not the pen. Yeah, he just checked up on me. Made sure I was good. He just checked up on me. I, yeah, I can't. Say Daddy, it. making sure he's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just so I don't get Cameron's a little up. emotional guy, you know. Yeah. He gets in his feels sometimes. I, I'm an emotional that, guy too, though. I'm yeah. an emotional guy too. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. But that's yeah, like that's, a, really that's deep a bad pose. one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we. Well, there was a moment. There was a moment there where. Um, well, yeah, we could talk about him getting, him getting like, well, I don't want to use the word banned, but banned, yeah, yeah. I guess would be the like right Like a tourist ban. Yeah. He got like, so we were about to go on tour, right? The second time. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And I flew his ass here. Actually, I'll try to tell the whole story. So Cameron's coming back to America. This is what year? 2019. Two, 2019. I think it's my second tour. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we're about to go on the second tour. August. Yeah. August, 2019. We're about to go on the second tour. We fly Cameron here, 12 hour flight, right? 12 or 13 hour flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we fly him here and then I'm like waiting for him to tell me that he's here. And yeah. then I hear nothing and I'm like, what the fuck, dude? And then I, I actually like got kind of worried. I didn't know like yeah. what happened. I was like, I mean, to be honest, I was like, what if someone kidnapped his little ass? Yeah. Like, honestly, no bullshit though. So I started posting my story like, yo, if anyone like. Oh my God. No, yeah, for real yeah. though, no bullshit. I was like, if yeah. anyone sees Cameron, like, let me know. Cause like I was kind of confused because I was like, the thought of him getting like put into a room and then sent back to like yeah. New Zealand. What it didn't even like, I didn't even think of something like that. Yeah. So yeah, he gets, he gets, uh, gets to America and then they, what bring you into a room. You want you could tell us like that. Yeah. They, they pulled me aside and they were just like asking questions like why I was in America. And then I guess they got mad cause they thought I was working or something on a tourist visa, which I wasn't. I was just hanging out with friends and stuff. And so they were just like, Oh no, you got to go back and But they didn't like ban me properly. They just, said uh, you can't have the online ESTA, but you can get like other visas the too. The online what? The online ESTA, which is like an online application. Mm. You can just come into America. How long do they hold you in the room though? Oh, like 10 hours. Yeah, so he flies yeah. 12 hours. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. You know, no, listen, listen, listen. He flies 12 hours, whatever. They hold him in a room for 10 hours. Then they're just like, yeah, you got to go. They put him on a flight back to New Zealand. Fuck. Another like 12, 13 hours. And yeah. they didn't even give us a refund on the flight. Yeah. Like what oh the fuck? God. So then once that happened though, this is 2019. They would not let him come to America. Then COVID hit in 2020. So yeah. like, dude, this motherfucker couldn't come back forever, dude. And yeah, then, whoa. and then I just kept trying to get a green card lawyer. I paid like two or three different green card lawyers. Yeah. We probably spent like 50 or 60 grand on green card, green card lawyers. Yeah, Never wow. got any, any progress at all. Wow. Complete scam, I guess. Um, and then we ended up meeting in fucking Bahamas. Was that like a year yeah. ago? Two years ago. Two no. years ago. Like yeah. what year? 2022? Yeah. 2020. Yeah. So like, I didn't see him from. For three years. Th yeah, Since, over over three years. Yeah. yeah. And then uh so I see him in Bahamas and then and then our friend owns a monster truck like <coughs> company yeah. where they do like shows like monster truck sh mm -hmm. shows, monstertrucks.com, shout out. Oh. Um so Zach, yeah, his name is Zach Garden. So he yeah, owns a monster truck company and then he so he tours around the country and stuff. So mm. he got him and he he does some should I say that? Like he does yeah, some yeah, work yeah. with I do, I do work with like the monster so, trucks and stuff. So, so you, you just go out and perform at some of the shows. Yeah, I'll just like fly in and then go with them for a bit, and then I, and then I get to like take a break for a bit and come here and then go. But back. that guy's the one who got him yeah, here. Yeah. Like we couldn't get him in America. Like I I tried multiple lawyers, like everything, and then so yeah, he just works with him. You don't know when he's here, and then he hangs out yeah. with us and whatever. But I mean, without him, we couldn't even figure out how to do it. It was annoying, and I had like multiple green card lawyers. It was a joke. Yeah. He well, let me jump one of the monster trucks. Yeah, it's in my day. It's oh, crazy, yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah, no, a real monster truck. Yeah, yeah. No, I know, I know. It's it was insane, videos. dude. Yeah, we did, yeah. He just like brought all the monster trucks to my fucking <laughs> property because yeah. I have the hundred acres. Also, anyone out there, if you ever have the opportunity to jump a monster truck, it's a bucket list thing. Yeah. There's not that many things I'd recommend, but uh, jumping a monster truck's pretty crazy because like. The suspension's so insane, and you actually, it's just like kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta jump on if you ever. I know a lot of you obviously won't get the opportunity, but if you do, do it, man. It's, it's pretty yeah. wild. What was that like when you guys saw each other for the first time in three years? Well, that was, it was really cool. Like, Fireworks. It, it, <laughs> no, it was like crazy because we were so like separated from each other for like three years. Like, 
it was insane. Like first it was, I just couldn't go to America. And then it was like, you can't even leave the country. And I was like, damn, like, and it, it like took a while. Well, we then, were going to go to, you were going to surprise me in New Zealand, but then COVID. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That shit was lame. But what was the biggest culture shock coming from New Zealand to the U S like what's the, what's something that Americans wouldn't, would be surprised at? Probably the food proportions, like how big the meals are when you buy them. Oh, and stuff like yeah, yeah like how yeah. like fat the food is. It's still fat in New Zealand, but it's like there's a lot more like fat in the US and like a lot more um like other fast foods like where there's only like a few in New Zealand. There's like a lot everywhere here, like a lot of different ones to choose from. Yeah, and the food's horrible here. It's not that bad. McDonald's, some things are some things are bad. Ten twenty thousand McDonald's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's like that in New Zealand too. There's McDonald's everywhere. Like oh, every true. town, every town got one. I've never been. That's there. how big it is. I want to go. How big McDonald's is? I think they have thirty-five thousand locations. What McDonald's? I think so. <laughs> I don't know why I know that. I wouldn't be surprised. It's a very random fact. I know. I think uh, that's the number. Though. Do you still travel back and forth uh, to New Zealand, or you're mostly here in the states? Yeah, now? I still tra- like. I'm traveling back in two days, um, Thursday oh, wow. night, and then. But I've been here for like six months, and then I go home for a bit and just like take a break, and then, and I just come back whenever he's down. Yeah, he'll be like, "Yep, you can come now if you want." And then yeah, me? And then yeah, and then you'll book it. You can stay until I don't care how long you stay. <laughs> no, I, but it, bro, I get, I start to feel bad staying here. But you've told me so many times that it's like me. fine. I mean, there's so many yeah. bedrooms here, man. I feel like <laughs> he's uh, so nice. There's really not that many bedrooms. There's only four bedrooms. Oh. He's so nice, bro. When I first came back, like he was letting me sleep in the big room. And I, that that's felt, one of the nicest felt, things about Danny is that uh, you mean that come on that felt yeah, so I, special I, to I me. crashed at your place in Inglewood and I'm like Danny why are you giving me the main room like I feel like Danny likes the smallest room in every house I don't know why but yeah uh, I mean I probably like my master bedroom the most no, he I'm was just, just being nice it don't matter yeah, <laughs> he don't was matter. on his nice shit I can sleep wherever I can sleep right here I mean this is a yeah. nice couch actually this thing I could easily sleep here. I remember we've slept on the couch before too. Like. Honestly, I like sleeping where I'm not supposed to. Like sleep, falling asleep on the couch is like my favorite. <laughs> yeah. And then you wake up and you're like, oh, hell yeah. Because yeah. I hate going to bed. Yeah. I don't really like sleeping. Well, I, I hate going to sleep, but I love once I'm sleeping, I hate waking up. Yeah. Like I like sleeping. I just, if if you could just like press a little button and just like knock out and wake up in eight hours, that'd be, that'd be like ideal, which is probably why people get on drugs, you know? I could, yeah. underst- I could understand getting on some drugs to fall asleep. Yeah, it's hard sometimes just to unwind. But I then, fucking hate going to bed, dude. Yeah. It's so annoying. But yeah, you take you take some shit, it'll put you out. Do you work as out like Kiwan does? Like no, no. <laughs> I mean, I skateboard a bit, but that's not really working. He out. is really good at skating, like genuinely. Yeah, I was just skating the on the street today, and I was like sweating like crazy. Like, and then I was that's probably the hottest I skated in a while. But it was just on the road. Yeah, yeah he's, got, he's got some style on the board. And Have I you seen buzz. him skate? Yeah, watch your videos. Yeah. <laughs> What, do you ever, like, hope, like, I know when we interviewed, um, like, Kiwan, he was talking about, like, doing the videos with Danny and then trying to pursue a career in acting or do more traditional media. Do you have any dreams along those lines or I mean, trying I was, to make it as a skater or or just still figuring it out? I'm still figuring it out. It's kind of sad, but I'm still figuring it out. Like, I got no idea what I'm doing. But I'm trying, um, to, become, I'm trying to become a sponsor <laughs> manager. or skater. No, when, <laughs> when I was a kid, when I was younger, like, a t- like 13, I, I really wanted to be, like, do something with skateboarding, but then you kind of like slowly realize you can't really do anything with skateboarding unless you're like in the top 0.1%. I feel like it's not the way you think though. I feel like if, yeah, if you do skating that way, you have to be the top 0.1% of course, mm-hmm. if you want to do competition and shit. But if you have a p- online presence yeah, and you look, cause a normal person can't, a normal person can't like comprehend a, a certain level of skating yeah. to uh like if you're here and here, Normal people can't comprehend it. They yeah, don't yeah. understand. All they know is like kickflips and yeah, that's it. If you build a following and then you can skate, you, I mean, you could do stuff with brands easy. Yeah. But I think a lot of people don't realize that, like Cameron, for example. <laughs> but it's like, because he could easily work with brands and do stuff if he posted. Yeah. And I'd be always telling him, bro, post on Instagram. Bro, post on Instagram. But he, yeah. he don't want to post. I posted sometimes. Two, yeah, like it's still not a good amount. But like I, I posted two, which is like really cool. But he's got, his three. videos are good and he just like be like not posting and I'm like, yeah, bro, I, I, I got so many of my drafts. I know, I post those videos. bitches up. Dude. I, was I would say, just post them on TikTok with no like context. It's like it'll be videos from like four months ago that I just like finally <laughs> post like and then yeah, I don't know why I do that. It's kind of guys, sad. everyone out there, tell Cameron to post, man. Yeah, just put it up. I feel like because I was looking through your Instagram, it's like. 2024 20, 2023 20, 2020 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah, yeah, yeah. no it was like 2024 20, to 20, no because 20. like even me like i don't follow anyone on instagram but like i still like seeing 
my friend's post. You yeah, know? yeah. Like, yeah. I love when I like go. I'm so delayed too. I'll see his post from like, like you know, what I mean? ago. months ago, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, he posted hell. Yeah. Like the one <laughs> I saw it so delayed, and I'm like, and, but then I get excited. I'm like, fuck yeah, that's yeah. sick, you know. Yeah. Or I like if I'm like on Explorer and, and then it pops up. You yeah, know? yeah. Like that that's cool. So it's like. I want to see like him and Roman and Pat and these yeah. people that I, I I'm friends with that skate. Like I want to see their clips and I know everyone, all the fans want to see yeah. him post shit. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like Other it, people post my clips and it like, just, I know. it does really good I'm on like, their bro, pages. Just or even and YouTube. they'll just keep messaging me to tell them to send them all. I guess they like <laughs> make money off their pages or something. I know people are like subscribing to your YouTube, but I was like looking there as I was preparing for this. No videos. Oh yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, I tried YouTube for a bit, but it's like, I don't know. It'd be cool to do it again, actually. But it's like, I don't know. I feel like I'd be very similar to him. But I, people don't want that, I guess. So like, I, I don't know. Dude, I, really, I don't think it matters. I'm so clueless. Yeah. I mean, there's like, there's like. There's so many. There's like 40 fucking kids that just copy what we, what yeah. I do. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't, and they, and they're, ha- and they have followings and yeah. get views. So I don't think it really matters. People just want to like, people just want to watch shit. You yeah, know it's your mean? perspective yeah. of it. Yeah. I don't think, I think you do whatever you want. Yeah. It'd be cool though. Cause there's no, I don't think there's any little people that. That's what I, that I was going to say. That, yeah, that very unique. Advantage. The advantage thing you're the saying, advantage, yeah, yeah, that's an advantage. Yeah, Daniel, are you thinking about signing like athletes or people to Matador as a yeah, brand? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, how, definitely. How you I want that? him to do a bunch of shit for Matador. Yeah, yeah. I've noticed. Like that, that skateboarding. Obviously, I don't right. have the biggest budget right now, but yeah. it, you know, eventually, as, as you sell more, you know, you get more money to you know give to people because like, you know, I am very talented. You know, I'm a great looking guy, but I can't do it all. You know, I can't do it all. We need others. <laughs> so Matador plans to employ every single little person in the world to, <laughs> to work with us. Not for us, with us. <laughs> Imagine. How many little people are there in the world, Jamie? Isn't no, the, I, I think remember, it's like 25,000. I think it Yeah, is. there's one every... T- <laughs> I think it's either one every 25,000 or one... I think it might have changed to one every like 40,000. Mm. That's like what... If I could pick like... You know, if you could pick like you just had a baby. Yeah. A girl or a boy? Girl. You just had a girl. Like if I could pick, I would like twin boys. Mm. Little people though. <laughs> that's like an ideal both that skateboard that's that's what i would want and then they could carry on my legacy together <laughs> you you just name key one and uh cam jr uh, that ain't key one that's, that's we one, one. <laughs> we always say because kids because he was gone for so long so key one was in all my videos so like a lot, there's a lot of fans that didn't even know he existed i yeah. guess for a minute so some people will come up to the car and be like or so actually the other day we were, <laughs> no the other day we got frankensons and there were kids like looking and they'd be like he want and they're like looking at him like because they're confused like they look at Cam. they don't know cameron but they know key one but then it's just a, a white little person not not this like black little person so they're like but they don't know his name so they're like key one yeah like, someone called me key one i was like i turned and looked at him he's looking at me and i thought i was like i thought that was not real like i thought i was just hearing stuff in my head so the I just, top video on a, a youtube short of me when i kick you on the slide down it the top oh, comment yeah. is they bleach key one. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. It's insane, dude. There's a lot of comments. Like but that. like, so whenever some, some people are like, where's key one? If it's, they'll say it to him, dude, it's so rude. Where's yeah. key one? I'm like, God damn. <laughs> but, uh, but that's what I mean. Like, that's just like, that's you're dealing with idiots. At that yeah. Point. Yeah. Like, you just gotta be ready. The but, Oliver Tree concert. But yeah, we'll be some like. Some guy was just chewing my air off about like, how key one's so cool. <laughs> like, I was like, I was like yeah, hell yeah, he's cool. <laughs> they'll be like, looking at Cameron, I'll be like, I'll just say it like as if I'm them, you know, like that ain't key one. That's we <laughs> one, yeah. like white key one. <laughs> if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, Besides Florida, of course. <laughs> Honestly, I like Florida. Florida's um, the best. Canada's pretty cool. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Canada? <laughs> Vancouver. No, that's like, that's really no, easy. Parts that's Canada, really easy. Yeah. Like if we're talking Montreal. like. Out of anywhere in the world. No, I've been to like Montreal, Paris dude. and the pyramids and stuff. You've been like, to Paris? No. Paris you invited sick. me, but I didn't have my passport at the time. Oh, I, I was so jealous of that. Paris is pretty sick. I'll yeah. go. We'll go again. That's like, bro. That's like the other side July. of the world for me when I'm in New Zealand. I'm going. I'm going in July. I think. Can I come? Yeah, go. Hell yeah. yeah I'm sure. Midgets in Paris. Bring Q on me and Q on midgets in Paris. Midgets in Paris, man. <laughs> Well, you guys should make a song together. <laughs> also, I'm my first trying to find me. First midgets trying to find me. <laughs> first midgets want to find me. Does any of that like attention towards Q on ever? Like, I don't know. Make you jealous? Like, um, I wouldn't say so much anymore. Maybe a little bit in 2018. Hundred percent. Yeah. That, I remember you and him got in a fucking like, fight on the <laughs> bus. No, 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 we didn't get a fight. Well, not a fight, but <laughs> yeah. you were like pissed. Arguing, yeah. What was that about? I, I, I honestly can't remember. I just remember. Uh, like, it's not really like that now, though, but definitely yeah. back then. I think now it's more like, I would say, Kiwan maybe helped them at times, you know, and they're close. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah. For sure. For sure. 
I always feel like too, like the jealousy thing is just so lame. Like, but I get it. Like, especially when you're younger, like, but I feel like as people get older, you, you kind of realize it's just like, there's, yeah, there's no room for everyone. Yeah. There's so much yeah. room yeah, for everyone yeah. and there's no point for, I mean, even like other creators, you know, like I don't give a fuck about anyone, you know, truly I do not care. I don't ever look at anything as a competition. I don't think there's any reason to, I don't, I feel like there's so much room for everybody. Definitely advice would be like, don't, I don't think people should even compare themselves or, or get, I mean, honestly, I feel like if, if you get jealous of like, let's just say in this situation, if not that he does, he doesn't anymore, but if he, if he was getting jealous of Kiwan, it almost sets you up to do that. Yeah. Cause it like, you ruin your, you ruin the mood. You, you fuck up the vibe with your friends it, yeah. and almost, it, it makes people not want to be around you. Yeah. So, and there's enough room for everyone to do this. So it like almost just fucks you. So it's like, Cameron, do you have a, a lot of family that is here at all? Or are you just by yourself? In the US? Like, yeah. Um, I think there's a cousin somewhere. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Where are they at? I think like Anaheim. You have not tried to track them down whatsoever. Anaheim? Yeah, but it's like a kind of a far cousin. We met like, a sister in Pensacola. Oh, yeah. That was, that that was, was funny, funny as fuck. 2019, we're driving the test of the Holmes from uh, Florida. Cross country. To, yeah, to LA. I don't remember. No one really. I mean, people did it, but not, like, I don't remember. There wasn't really videos of that yet. Yeah. Like that was yeah. before people were driving Teslas like that, you know? Yeah. It was funny. It was a fun trip. What, what, what's the time that Danny asked you to do something that was way beyond your comfort zone? <laughs> Every day, bro. Uh, Just give me one. I know there's tons of examples. Yeah, to be honest, one's one. Today, nah. I was trying to get a fucking picture for Snapchat. And he like, thinks I'm going to throw him in the pool. I'm like, bro, if I want to throw you in the pool, yeah. I'll throw you in the fucking pool. I'm sorry. But he doesn't. He don't trust me, bro. It's all right, though. That <laughs> is anybody. I just get scared. I don't know. I'm on his side, man. I I'm know. Yeah, side. he really is. Yeah, clearly, I mean, you don't play that many, like that much money in lawyer fees if you're not looking out yeah, for yeah. somebody. To be fair, I had way more money back then. I don't have that kind of money now. I wouldn't do it now. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, that's okay. <laughs> What's the time that? Um, fuck. I'm trying to remember. Um, I don't know. I get, <laughs> I get scared of like the most random things. Like, there's some things I'm down to do. Bro, like, he wouldn't even do the slide in the Bahamas. Yeah, it was like, like a the, slide in the Bahamas. Bro, a slide in a playground. Bro, no, I mean, Bahamas, little kids. It was bro, like little a, like little like five year olds doing it. Like. You yeah. just slide down. You know, there's nothing. He, this kid's brain. He thought he's gonna hit the. He thought he's gonna hit the little hump and just go flying like. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, bro, you're not gonna do that. Oh, like a water. You got slide a 50 pound up. ass. You're sitting on. Yeah. You're not going anywhere. Yeah. That was um. That was pretty funny. Though. Yeah, he pushed me down. <laughs> no, I it, I it was him, worth bro. it. It was <laughs> worth it. Yeah. Yeah, but I knew I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew he'd be safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had already done it too. Like yeah, I already yeah. like knew. Yeah. I was like, the thing he hasn't, which. Which some people maybe think it's me, but I don't. I just know, like, and I knew he would be happy that he yeah, did yeah, it after, yeah. which he was, you know. I would have done it again. Like, I, I definitely want my friends and myself, too, to, like, push ourselves the best we can yeah. and do everything we can. But I'm not trying to fucking, you know. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah, put anyone in danger. What about, like, in terms of, like, are there any, like, role models or, like, people you look up to or talk to? Like, we're also little people beyond Q1. <laughs> um, you ask for advice. I don't know. I'd say like the guy we were talking about earlier, Angel Cardin, is like the skater. He was really cool. Like he showed me that he he can like be really good at skating despite like being a little person. And like he was doing tricks that I could never like imagine thought I could do. And he's like he's helped me a lot with like learning how to skate just by watching him like skate. Yeah. And his stuff. But he's really cool. I honestly think watching little people skate when they're like steezy is better than a not yeah. a little person skating. Like that one dude. Uh, I don't know his name, but the dude. I think he's with Supreme in Italy. He does that fat ass and all the heel. Like, oh. bro, that shit's so hard, bro. It's yeah. like crazy. But it's like seeing a little person do it, you're like, fuck. And they got yeah. style. A lot of little people yeah. got style. So it's like, which that's really all skating is. It's just like style, style you know? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, what the fuck? That, that's what I was going to say. I feel like immediately if I see like you doing a trick, I may, I don't know if Danny does it, it can look much cooler like when you no, are. He's better than me. I can't do shit. No, I know. Even but he can do stuff to. I can't do, which is cool. He's Everybody doing like do hard it. flips and tray flips down shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Up stuff. I'm like, it's kind of crazy. But I saw you tray flip at the at primitive. That was cool, bro. That was like a year ago. Really? Uh, Probably. And that was an ass tray flip. Uh, I mean, during COVID, I was actually skating a little bit. I was got kind of yeah, kind of clean during the, COVID. Bro, yeah. I was doing that that uh, what's that skate park? The gap. Stoner Park. Stoner yeah. I was doing that gap yeah. first try. I was yeah. like, what the fuck? I'm yeah, tray flipping there. But I would only skate like twice a year, three times a year. Yeah. What what do you think is the most misunderstood thing about little people or things that often people like uh, Why do you keep bring up the little person thing? Dude, I think it's interesting, man. I mean, yeah, good, cool. uh, when we talked to Kimon about it, he changed I feel like he changed like so yeah. many perspectives of people 
when it comes to. I think the only thing up. anyone got out of Kiwan's episode was the silver <laughs> bullet. Silver bullet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Probably the penis size, right? It's Wait, not. What it's was not, the question again? Sorry. It's just I like it's normal length. If, it could be small or big, but not. It's not small because they're a little person. It's normal length. It's proportional. Pro- well, not even proportional. It's just normal. This dick size doesn't change if you're a little person. It would be like as if they're a normal sized person. Would you like to comment on this? <laughs> I got no comment. Show us, dude. <laughs> you want to see that? No. My butt is so big, right? That <laughs> I like. Bro, you look like Frankie LaPena, dude. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> that guy, Frankie. Uh, my butt is so big that I like when I sit down. Like even you probably saw me doing it. I was like pulling my pants down so that it doesn't fucking strangle my dick. Like, oh no, strangle my dick. But like, <laughs> what? You know, okay. Like, no, because no, hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> Bro, Bro, we're listening. Pause, dude, pause. Go. Every like <laughs> when you when you like because the pants are being pulled back from the butt. It's pulling it from the front like really bad. So I have to pull the uh, pants down a bit so it loosens it at the front. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. I usually tuck my dick in my ass too. Yeah, you guys can't really <laughs> look. I'll do it now, like that. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I get like wedgies. Uh, True. A lot of people do have fat asses, right? Little people. I guess so, yeah. I guess I got the biggest one, though. Yeah, yours is crazy, dude. <laughs> I used to hate it. I used to, like... I can't remember, like... I think... I can't remember what it was, but in English class, they were trying to get us to all lie on our stomachs, and I didn't want to lie on my stomach because I was, like, scared. They were going to talk about my ass being, like, <laughs> fucking huge. So I, so I remember I just, like, kind of played it off a bit. Or I think I put, like, a hoodie over my butt or something key all over one, my back. Key one right now, he'd be like... Damn, he got a wagon. <laughs> That's what you you want to say shit like that. Got dump truck. <laughs> got a big old dump truck. <laughs> what other memories from tour? Um, tour so lit. Just seeing man. like f- new fans in like every every city was like crazy. No, it come just, on. There's got to be stories beyond seeing the fans. Like, it's, it's bro, close. he remembers shit. I always forget even happened. I'm like, damn, I don't even remember that shit. <laughs> I remember. You got anything crazy you remember? Oh, um, if he starts talking, I'll remember it, but. <laughs> Like I'm trying to remember. There's like a whole bunch of random stuff. There's that Fonda thing. I don't want to talk about the Fonda thing. The Fonda? You don't remember? Uh uh-uh. uh. The fight? <laughs> Low key, yeah. You can talk about it. Because I know. started that kind of. But I was like kind of just. Uh, I was just kind of like in a bad mood. What happened? So just tell uh, it. It doesn't matter. Okay. Work. It was like. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember what, what was happening. I was just like really tired <laughs> already from the tour. And I guess like Jake was like. I think he was throwing shit at me or just, just kept throwing shit at me and then and then I got mad and I grabbed the trash can and I just like threw it towards him and it just kind of like skimmed across the ground and went towards him and then I guess the security guy was getting mad that uh, I was throwing the thing and he was like just I can't remember what he was saying but he was just like getting mad but then it was getting loud and then I remember Anthony from Tor came running from the merch thing <laughs> to like stuff it and then you came and then yeah yeah I remember there was almost a fight <laughs> yeah I, I think I pissed, I'm I pissed here, the security man. guy off but I was like, yeah. I remember. I, I, just, I do remember. I was just tired. I remember like walking right there and that security guard talking shit. And I was like talking <laughs> shit back. And then, yeah. yeah. And then Anthony came. I remember that. It was like, I don't know. Yeah. A bunch of kind of fights. <laughs> How do you prepare for those tours? Because you, you have a we show. Don't. We don't prepare. <laughs> I remember we're making songs about Kiwan on the tour oh, bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we always be like doing like little improv songs. Every show we said, uh, bring My guitars. My name is Kiwan. <laughs> 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 bring guitars and then we'd always have a guitar on the door of us because Omar dude yeah and Omar would just play it and would sing about q I wish I had one of the I don't, I don't remember what was it for the people who didn't go to the tour or see any of the shows like, what um, you didn't miss tour? much imagine no, no it was fun no it was cool I don't know it's just like uh, I don't fucking know dude I just tried to make something that like tried to bring my YouTube channel to life the best I could on stage which is like I mean we did three fucking tours I did like over 100 shows so I think it was fun. It was cool. Um, I just tried to make it as entertaining as I could and, like, you know, make fans happy. But, I mean, I'm not fucking Bieber, you know, yeah. Usher or some shit. So it's not, yeah, that, it good. It's not that good. But, honestly, the feedback is crazy. Like, every yeah. fan's like, it was one of the best nights of my life. And some of them went all three years. And they were like, I fucking love it. And I'm wow. like, all right, well. But I would like to do, like, I, I genuinely, when I'm in the mood to, like, interact with fans like that. Because they obviously, not everyone knows, like behind the scenes like it kind of at times can get like exhausting it's a lot um not in like a poor me way oh you're rich poor you shut up it's like i worked at walgreens too you know i was normal completely you know yeah when you're in that mood though i love i love hanging out with fans so i want to definitely tour and like do shit where we can like go fuck around with them because it is fun to like Mm -hmm. fuck around fans and you're meeting people that like i said earlier like you're, you're like genuinely like 
you have like a lot of interest, yeah. you know? So it's, it's cool to meet people that you're, you have similar. Interest. Dude, a lot of these kids are so similar. So they just like want to fuck around. They want to laugh. They want to have fun and they want to get rich and make money and invest too. Like mm. there's so many people we meet that like, even are like, look how much I'm up on my stocks, you know? So it's like, it's cool to, <clears throat> it's cool to meet people like that. So, I mean, I, and I like traveling. So, I, I mean, I would like to do that. I just, I'm probably done doing those type of tours. Oh, you mentioned you were planning another one still. Yeah, but not, not like that. Like I'm not going to be on stage. I'm not going to sell tickets. I think like. More of a meet and greet. Type yeah, thing. I think just go around, make it free, and like you know, pr- promote like a matador or something, and yeah. and go around and use that as like as an excuse to tour. Because I love touring and traveling and meeting fans, and then I just use matador, and then I can push matador while I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. And like, like I mean, dude, my tours, I kept the tickets the same price every all three years. Like, wow. and that was like a four or five year span. Like, I never raised the price at all because I don't really care about that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I mean, like, if especially if I could do a free one, I don't give because I don't really care about the money. You know, it's just like. You have to make money because you have a fucking tour bus that yeah. costs, you know, 150 grand venue or whatever costs. it is. You have venue costs. You have a whole staff of fucking eight, nine, yeah. ten people. Uh, you got per diems for everybody every day. You, yeah. I mean, there's so many costs that go into that people don't realize. I mean, you probably drop like a million bucks. I mean, I don't, I don't know the, I don't. Know if, I mean, five hundred thousand a million probably. You probably drop just to go on tour that I'm paying out of my pocket. So that's the only thing. But I mean, yeah, going around pushing matadors to whatever retail store we're in. I mean, you could do that for free. So. Mm. I mean, and then maybe sell some merch to just kind of pay for the gas and all the employees. That's something I would like to do. And then like, I don't really know, like I don't have my, I don't have a plan, but you know what I mean? Like he would definitely, you know, want to come. Like it's fun. Yeah. Go to, it'd be cool to like pull up to skate parks or something. And like, I don't really know, like big, I don't know, like big feel. Cause some of these kids, a lot of people show up sometimes. So it's like, you want to go crazy, but yeah, I don't have a plan to be honest. I just kind of <laughs> wing everything in life. Is it go, ahead, go ahead. Talk man. Dude, yeah, oh, I mean, that's, that's what I mean. Sick. Like, I, I want, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do a moped tour, but like, set a day in like Honolulu and do a ride out, like a Dane Duncan ride out or a Matador ride out or something like that. Mm. That type of shit's so fun. Like, I think anytime you're getting people like like minded people all together yeah, yeah. in a positive way is fun for yeah. any for any any type of artist or fucking Pokemon cards or whatever. Yeah, it's yeah. sick. I love the moped. Yeah, the moped's the best. I <laughs> I'm love. always riding it when, yeah. when I'm in Florida. <laughs> There's nothing. I, I, I like jet skis. Jet skis feels like a moped on the water or a dirt bike on the water. Yeah. Like I yeah. like mopeds. I like dirt bikes. This is like my favorite thing to do. Florida's like. Oh, especially the ones you got in Florida because those Honda, like the Honda mopeds, right? Yeah, Honda it's hard actually. To find those. Dude, Honda actually just reached out to me because like I bought a Honda Ruckus brand new and it like never worked. It just kept breaking all, every time, brand new. And I t- kind of talked shit because this guy kind of fixed it. So. They're like, what can we do for you? I was like, fucking give me a new one. This thing's a piece of shit. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if they do. We'll see if the fucking pussies, man. <laughs> but I was like, dude, I've spent like, I probably spent like 150 grand on Hondas. Probably more than that, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Cameron, has any of what Danny has done with his business inspired or changed your mind on how you're going about your business and? Yeah, it's phone. really cool, like watching him do his business. Like he's really intelligent and smart. Like, thanks, Cameron. I got you, man. <laughs> no, like actually, though, I'm being serious. Like, <laughs> you mean that? Yeah, of thanks, course, man. Like he's really intelligent. You always say like, that, Daddy. Compliment, man. Thanks, man. And he just keeps getting smarter and smarter. It's what? Like, it's cool to learn from him. Honestly, thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> You guys stop it, man. Like I need to, I need to. The only thing is I'm failing by not doing anything. I need to do something. But well, I have. It's like I have work. a smart. It's like I have a smart book in front of me, and I'm just not reading it. Or like I'm reading it, but I'm just not doing it. I don't even think it's like that. It's like it's like I'm reading the book for you, and you just choose <laughs> yeah. to put your AirPods in and, and not listen. <laughs> I'm like, bro, post the video on Instagram, yeah. dude. Yeah. You're like, yeah. <laughs> I'll post it in four months. Or, yeah, yeah. Dude, literally, guy posts one time in like five years. Yeah. yeah. People would kill for that, but I don't know. Everyone everyone deals yeah, with yeah, shit differently. Still. It don't yeah, matter. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on like comments when people kind of say the same? They think they're being funny, but it's like... I'm just so numb to it. <laughs> like, yeah. I'll just scroll past it and I feel nothing. Like, like if he if he ever puts a skateboarding video, they talk about him like tech decking. Yeah, so. they'll make a joke that's a tech deck or something, but <laughs> I'm so numb to it. I'm not even mad. Like, I'm like, hell yeah, there's one already. Like, and then it'll be like the top comment and I'm like, yep, hell yeah. Like, <laughs> things are looking normal. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's funny. It's cool though. I don't care. But it's like, um, that's like the most common. It just pushes your video even more to people. Like, more engagement. Uh, can you tell us about the time that you went skydiving? Skydiving? And what, what happened there? Oh, that was fun. That was cool because you... What you, happened there, he said. <laughs> well, you kind of just skydived. No, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just kidding. We were like thinking, we we're just in the car, and then I think he said, Danny said something about skydiving, and he's like, would any of you guys skydive? And I was like, yeah, I think I would. Like, How was, scared were you, though, when you were about to jump? Oh, fucking scared, dude. Yeah, Your you face mean, is crazy. You're yeah, like, I was like... It, it just all I could feel was my heart pumping like just like that's what it felt like like up there 
and then it really helped a lot seeing uh, Roscoe in front of me doing it. I was like, I was, like, I was really stoked that Roscoe was doing it. I think that helped a lot. But Roscoe was first, and then he he said, I remember he sent you a video. He's like, he's like, I was like, oh shit, I was speechless. <laughs> I couldn't say shit. <laughs> like, and that's literally exactly how you feel. You just crazy. all you feel is your heart like that. You're just looking down at Earth, like yeah. And you were, I think he was the first little person to ever skydive. <laughs> yep, I'm pretty sure. So that was cool because like, and we had Guinness records there and everything. No, you're pulling my leg. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Fell for it. No, on, no, I didn't buy that for a Come second. On, I know Danny's humor gotcha. now. Got you, bro. <laughs> what do you want to be when you're older? <laughs> Astronaut? Um, I don't know. I remember when I was a kid, for some reason, I always wanted to be a like a skipper on a boat. Like I really, <laughs> I really wanted to do like the commercial ferry in New Zealand from the city to this like island where uh, my sisters were born. So, so for some reason, I always wanted to be the the, fair, the the skipper of those boats, but I don't know what happened to that. He's got a fascination with airplanes. Oh, like, yeah. I got him this uh, whole simulator for like flying airplanes. It has all the controls. Yeah. And it's pretty sick. Um, but I want him to I want him to do an actual flight, like a discovery like, flight with an actual oh, like, yeah. an actual airplane. I think that'd be a cool vlog. I feel like that would be scarier than skydiving. No, nah, dude, it's not. I did it. I think I yeah. I know it'd be fine, but I think like right now I'd rather skydive again than than do it, fly a plane. They like I let mean, you fly and everything too, but then they can obviously take over at any time. Yeah. yeah. Wait, how does that work? Like you have to take lessons and train. No, and no, you can do it. Like- no, I did a discovery flight, so you basically just show up. And then they kind of, they, dude, he was letting me just like fucking take off and everything. And then like, they let you try to land it too, but they let you fly up in the air. They let you turn it. How big is the plane? It's just like a little Cessna. Cessna. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. they're with you in the cockpit? Yeah. Or, yeah it's yeah. just a, you two up, up front. I mean, you could even bring someone in the back, but I think it'd be a cool vlog to just have them go fly, you know? Mm. Yeah. But then obviously you keep doing it, keep doing it, keep you doing it to get hours to, if you wanted to get it, become a pilot. Oh, it's almost like when you're getting your driver's license, like back in the yeah. when they had the two steering wheels. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you want to become a pilot one day? I mean, it would be cool, really cool. But it's like, oh, that's so scary to me. I really wanted to do air traffic control, actually. Like during the lockdowns, I was like thinking of studying for it. And then, but everybody was just telling me that, that I'd probably hate my life. Oh, like you would hate it. Like, it sounds boring I, as fuck, dude. <laughs> well, that I like <laughs> air traffic control. What is that? The people that do this? No, 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 not <laughs> that. The, the people in the control towers that, that monitor the sky. <laughs> Of like what they're letting into the airport and oh. making sure like none of the planes are crashing and stuff. Uh, are you scared to fly Boeing's? I mean, n- now I mean with the, they just let go of their CEO I think and all these like screws loose and doors missing. We're going like, to Tokyo on the 11th and I'm flying a Boeing. Really? Yeah, I'm it, flying a Boeing too. Isn't it crazy it's that done. people are looking at the make of a airplane now? Yeah. Like before flying, nah, it used to be- I, I'm lying though. Ours is an Airbus. He's actually flying a Boeing though. <laughs> Tri- it's a triple seven though. Yeah. They're they're fine. I I'm Cuts. pretty. I would, Cuts. But actually. <laughs> During, oh during the lock, <laughs> during the lockdown, they were in a they were in the deserts up here during because the, they were, they weren't flying, so they they can't leave them in like during the winter and the weather changing New Zealand, so they send them to the desert like north of LA, and then they sat there for three years and then just went through some checkups for like two months and now they're flying again, but haven't heard anything bad about it yet. Do do people back home in New Zealand understand? like YouTube culture as much as the states? Like when you're going to fly to make a video with Danny, are people like, dude? Do your thing and they're cheering you on or like are they saying what the hell are you doing the people in new zealand yeah, yeah. Um, like your friends like your there's peers. a lot of people new zealand's pretty similar to the u.s honestly like um, i feel like it's probably similar is it similar to australia yeah yeah very similar which is like similar to florida yeah yeah kind of yeah i would say like it's just all like different branding and stuff and there's a few different like ways of life goes but it's very similar like obviously drive on different side of the road and stuff but i would say like new zealand's like, yeah, we watch a lot of like American TV in New Zealand. Same with British and yeah. stuff. I hear Australia is like nuts. Like, oh, yeah. like the dudes there are doing crazy shit, you know? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. yeah. So it's probably got to be either. It's probably crazier there than here. Yeah. I feel like Australia would be sick. Like, loose. Me in general or like YouTubers? I don't know any YouTubers there. I'm just saying, oh. like, no, I, I think it's like random dudes that. I think random dudes yeah. in Australia that aren't even famous just fucking off, probably not even filming it, are like <laughs> yeah, crazier yeah. than the shit I'm doing, to be honest. Oh. Like, I bet it when we go there and film, it's going to be like... Oh, yeah. They're, and they're going to be going hard as fuck. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. When they see, like, if we're vlogging and they see the camera, they're going to be going nuts. Yeah. yeah. Danny, what do you think about, like, other YouTubers involve, you know, people in their videos, but then, like, it becomes, like, super transactional. Like, they take percentages of them or, like, they... I mean, I tried. Like- I obviously tried to do that, to be honest, but 
I mean, yeah, there's so many ways I could help someone make more money and in exchange for helping someone make a lot of money, you should get a portion of it. But I don't really care about that, yeah. to be honest. Like, I guess my in my head, I'm just like hoping that we make so much fucking money that everyone gets rich. That's yeah. kind of what I'm trying to do. Uh, so, I mean, that's my goal, really. Uh, we kind of just dump everything back into it now mm. and in hopes that it just eventually everyone's getting millions of dollars at a time and one, like one check. Well, I, I don't know. I think about, you know, Jason Nash right now is on TikTok, like doing like you see him getting all I, this fly for the TikTok live. And I don't know, I don't see it, but I, I uh, and everyone's saying like, well, like, you know, he contributes so much to like the vlog squad and what David was doing, like maybe you should have got something oh, like money out of it. Yeah, yeah. it is a hard uh, dynamic, you know, um, versus I see you on and off camera. You take a care of a lot of the folks who are in your circle well i guess i guess what i'm trying to do is like yeah i mean i guess okay if everything ended right now mm -hmm. if everything ended right now then i would definitely feel bad you know because mm -hmm. it's like you would want everyone to kind of have a house and a bunch of money and car like i don't want to be the only one with money so yeah. yeah i mean if we ended right now yeah i mean i would feel like i failed for sure i i guess i get stressed like that too i get a lot of stress when there's like there's a lot of people that kind of depend on me. Yeah. So that's kind of where I, cause, cause obviously if it's just me, then yeah, who gives a fuck? I have so much money for myself. Of course, if you just have a bunch of money for yourself, it's like boring. You don't want a bunch of money for yourself. You want everyone to have a yeah, bunch of money, yeah. you know? Um, yeah. so yeah, I mean, I'm trying to like build something up to like eventually sell and then everyone, you know what I mean? He's rich. Key one's rich, you know, fucking Andrew Gary's rich. You mm -hmm. know, I want Alex, you know, the yeah. filmer, he's rich. The people that have been there from the beginning, you want everyone to be fucking rich. So, I mean, that's kind of my goal. That's where it does get stressful because it's like, fuck, dude. Like, I got to make sure this shit works. Cause, like, yeah. And obviously, they can, like, live their life and be fine. But it's like, I don't know, man. Like, you kind of want the people from day one to also be fucking rich, Take too. Care, like, yeah. like, I mean, because even, like, the amount of money I have right now is not even, like, an, it's just whatever. It's like, it's not like I don't have fucking McGregor type money, you mm -hmm. know? So it's like, I don't really, but I mean, I don't really care. I don't really need, need shit. But, like, I mean, I want a jet. Yeah. You know? But yeah, I, de I definitely want everyone to have it too, not just me. Otherwise, it's like kind of pointless. You ever feel like you just like think about the past? Yeah. But I feel always. like I do that. I feel like I do that. And then I'm like, man, that was so fun. And then like, let's say in 2023, I'm like, man, 2022 was sick. And then now I'm in 2024 and I'm like, man, 2023 was sick. Yeah, that's what I do. So you got to like kind of live in the moment. But I definitely notice I catch myself do that too. Like, But I feel like, dude, I feel like 2020, man, was just lit. Well, was there anything that you've changed about how you go about your finances, Cameron? Learning from Danny. Cameron uh, totally forgot he was being interviewed, man. <laughs> he's he's so like high, looking down. Dude. He's no, like, he's listening. so high, bro. I was listening. He, Cameron's uh, like, where's my he's a, he a <laughs> on the He me a lot. Like, I remember he, he got me the Rich Dad Poor Dad book like, really early, and I read he it. He didn't read it, dude. No, I did. Oh, you got that book for a few people. I didn't read it. I just, That's a great book. Yeah, a great yeah book, that, no, that was a good book. And then, what's the biggest yeah. lesson if you had to summarize it for people who have not read that book? Like Cameron. Fuck, you go read it. <laughs> but you don't even have to go. You guys are so dumb. Not all of you, but the ones who want to be lazy. You're so dumb that, dude, you don't even have to read anymore, bro. You just sit there and it will read it for you. It's 2024. There's audiobooks. There's so many. Dude, you literally could sit there and jerk off and listen to the book. Like, no, you could, though. I'm not saying do it. I'm just saying you, do, you don't have to do anything. You sit and fucking eat a sandwich and it will read it for you and you don't even have to think. Isn't that an amazing thing? But I was just thinking. It's so amazing, but people are so fucking lazy and they do not want to succeed. They want to just sit here and make excuses and, and blame someone else and complain and not <laughs> succeed and just keep talking shit and it's always someone else's fault because you are a pussy and you can't do it. You're, it's just everyone just... That's majority of people, dude. They're just like, oh, it's insane. I can't comprehend it. Have you ever felt that you had to like... I don't know, sacrifice any of the quality of the video because you were uploading weekly. Dude, I've been posting every week for like fucking I, 10 years. I know, of I know. Of course. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, I, I try, I genuinely try my best to make a good video that when I watch it, when I'm about to post it and I watch it, that I, I actually think it's a good video and I like, I enjoy it. But there's definitely been times where I'm like, <clears throat> I'm like, damn, this was not as good as I want it to be. But like, you can't just, I can't just be like. A perfectionist. Yeah, you can't, dude, because people get people get pissed, bro. They're like, they want to watch the fucking video every week. What, what What's more important to you, being consistent or being quality? No, I always care about quality, but you have to, like, you can't, you have to post every week. There's no yeah. way around it, so you have, but I just try to make my best video I can. Um, but also, dude, it's never going to be good enough. You're always going to be like, oh, I wish it was better, mm -hmm. and then you make it really, oh, I wish this was better. 
So it's like, I just, I literally just like try my, for that week, I just try my best, post it, hope people like it. And then I got to do it again. And then I do it again. And then I do it again and again. And again. I mean, it's been, I mean, what is like 52 times fucking 10? A lot of weeks in a row, I'll tell you that. 520, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've been going pretty strong. <laughs> so I like just try to do my best. I don't fucking know. Yeah. But also, dude, when you watch, if, if, if you ever watch another creator, like most people's videos are pretty bad. You know what I mean? Like they're not good. Like most people out there, like <laughs> I've seen some YouTube, you know, does any of the stuff that you uploaded before, like you're like, maybe I should have like changed that, tweaked that, not done that. Oh, I mean, sometimes I'm like, God damn, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? like what the fuck? I don't know. Just like, I feel like as time goes on, you're just like, you, and you forget certain things and then you like watching, you're like, geez, that yeah. was a little crazy. Or Cam, do you have a video that Danny has uploaded that you're like, that was it? especially epic one um probably when you brought your mom a house yeah that, that was, was crazy yeah, that was, yeah there's a lot of that's crazy like a ones. good milestone yeah yeah the behind the house was like the biggest thing ever i mean i think yeah. we might have even already talked about it, but that was just crazy yeah that i mean i just think of like moments like tours like tours were crazy when i did the first meet and greet kind of at that barber shop with with you yeah well, that was a catnip thing that was like a milestone i was like i remember doing that and i thought like maybe a couple hundred people would show up Bro, it was like thousands of people showed up. I was like, that was like a moment. I was like, for real though, no bullshit, not a corny way either. I was like, oh shit, like I'm famous. Like for real though. I, it was like insane. I did not think that would have happened. So like that was like 2017. I mean, dude, cause just thinking about life then to now, it's like, what the fuck? It was, but I knew nothing about anything then. Hmm. But I remember there were so many people. I was like, holy shit. So that was kind of a milestone right there. Um, doing the tours, obviously. And then, and then there was like a money milestone where you buy a house, yeah. you know? buy my sister a car and being able to help the family and shit like those are all like important things but a specific video i mean dude they all suck no nah, no nah, i'm kidding uh <laughs> i don't fucking know like when i got the razor for the first time that was shit was pretty sick oh, yeah. like those, but those things break they're piece of shit player sucks horrible company don't support them i definitely like watching old videos though like even yeah, a year a or two capsule. or three or four yeah it's like it feels like home videos yeah. dude it's like that, that that's to me is the coolest <laughs> thing about making videos it's like you could look back and you could see who you were in that time papa jim was like a fucking milestone yeah. he was oh, yeah. so funny bro any video with him in it is gold yeah like he makes me laugh so hard um i, I mean, never got to meet him yeah i know it's crazy like just as i left like just as i wasn't allowed to come back he he came in and then and then just as I, when I was in the Bahamas, as soon as we got home, like I got home and you got home, then that's when Papa Jim was passed away. Yeah. yeah. So, R.I.P. the goat. Yeah, Even that video too, like I feel like sometimes we have different styles. Like obviously we have the main vlog style video. And then like there's a video where like I get Chris Chan in the car that's like a whole different pace. That video is good. And then like when Papa Jim passed, like the video Alex made of him passing is like that tribute yeah. video is so sick, you know? Yeah. It's like I remember thinking like, uh, well, I, I remember being happy because Papa Jim's like 94. Like, I'm not going to be that sad when he passes because he like lived a long life. And But then when he passed, I was like, damn, this sucks. Yeah. And then when I watched the video, bro, when he sent me to like just watch it to like kind of like approve it or like make changes, I was like, that shit. I remember just crying pretty hard, dude. Yeah. He puts all that music in it and shit. I was like, God damn. Dude, I remember like actually like b b crying really hard. I don't, yeah. I know most guys are like, oh, I don't cry, but like, like I don't really cry too much, to be honest. Only if it's like something like that. And like, dude, that that shit hit me pretty hard, and I was like, "Fucker, dude." I yeah. was like, I remember texting Alex, like, "Fucker got me." <laughs> but yeah, that shit sucked. I still got his bike too. I yeah, three wheel bike. I want to hang it up in the warehouse. I know. Can we talk about this? I know the other week you're with Papa John, right? Uh huh. Did he give any advice on starting a business like Matador? I mean, he's obviously been successful at like, growing his business <laughs> to what it is. Did he give you any thoughts? About I remember his? he said like uh, something about. With his company, Papa John's, obviously, he put himself as the face of it because, yeah. like, he felt like if he believed in it, then other, like, right. if he believed in it and, like, put his face out there, then people would believe him and, like, they would trust him. And, like, he felt like if he didn't believe in it, then, like, why should anyone else believe in mm -hmm. it? Which I thought that was cool. But I think what his shit's like, obviously, the better ingredients, better pizza, it's like, it's like quality, you know? And I think that applies to everything in life, like, the quality videos and quality merch and quality product. Like, if you're just gonna make some half ass shit, it's like, just get the fuck out of mm -hmm. here. Like, in my opinion, I feel like I'm, I'm, when I do something, I try to do it like correctly. And like, I'm more for like a long term thing. I've never, like I've said in the past, like the get rich quick, I feel like doesn't exist unless you're fucking someone over. So I just try to always do some, yeah, do some quality stuff. Mm -hmm. Cam, thanks for, I know like uh, it's your first time doing a sit down podcast. Man. Yeah, thanks I'm so for, awkward. Sorry. No, you're nah, not. Dude. Who cares? Thanks for opening up and uh, sharing all those stories. Thank you for having me. Yeah. What was it like losing your virginity? 
<laughs> Swear Come on, it, bro. Talk about it, man. <laughs> See, but you guys get it, man. He enjoyed it. <laughs>